Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is Force, Force StarCraft 2 Strategy, your number one location for step-by-step -step strategy and tutorial videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Zerg strategy. It's going to be Speedling Roach. Um, but more importantly, uh, the, the important thing to note about the spe specific strategy we're looking at um, is the fact that we're going to be seizing an opportunity. Uh, we're going to be seizing the opportunity in the fact that our Protoss opponent in this match is not playing aggressively. He's not going for that, that early uh, one gate or two gate zealot pressure. Um, he's playing pretty passively, probably likely planning on expanding or just trying to tech up fast. Um, and we're taking advantage of that. We're going to take advantage of that fact that he's not putting pressure on us and then we kind of have free reign to do what we want. Um, and we're going to use that free reign, we're going to use that opportunity to play um, aggressively and we're going to put pressure on him as a result. Uh, so basically, yeah, again, we're, we're going to take advantage of the fact that he's not doing much to us. Um, and that's something you always, always want to do. If your opponent is leaving you alone and they're letting you sit in your base, push out, put some pressure on them, make them, make them uncomfortable, put them in a situation that's going to throw them off their build order and throw them off their game. Um, that's kind of the important thing to note about this particular video. Um, so again, this is going to be a Zerg strategy. Uh, it's a Zerg versus Protoss. Um, our Zerg player here in this replay is Damaga, and the Protoss player is Huck. Two very, very good players. Um, basically StarCraft II professionals, if you will. Um, so yeah, as far as build order is concerned in this particular build, we're going with that uh, 14 pool, followed by the Extractor. Once that extractor comes up, we're going to go ahead and saturate it. Um, getting that speed upgrade as quickly as possible. I'm trying to get those speed links out very quickly. That allows for a lot of map control, um, and it allows it allows you to, you know, well, it allows you to have map control. It's basically what it does. Um, it provides you with the threat to your opponent of running into their base um, if they don't play defensively, basically. Um, so extractor's up now. We're going to be saturating that. Um, once that spawning pool comes up and we get our first 100 Vespian, that's when we're going to be going for that speed upgrade to get our speed links out. Um, so yeah, I'm taking a look at the Protoss player here. Um, again, he's not playing very aggressively in this game. Um, as you can see, a little strange pylon placement up there. Uh, he's going to be putting some tech up here. That's the purpose behind that, though. Um, and looking at a very popular um, building placement for our Protoss player here. A lot of Protoss players on this particular map are going for that choke off here, um, effectively turning these destructible rocks back here into the new entrance to the base. Um, they usually, what they do is they eventually break down these destructible rocks, make this their new entrance, and use these buildings to block this off. Um, this allows you a lot of times to get up that expansion pretty safely. Um, he's, again, he's dropping this forge here, so what that's going to do is he's going to allow him to put some cannons up. Um, but taking a look in our position as the Zerg player, you know, at this point in the game, if there aren't any zealots in your base, you're pretty, pretty much rest assured that they're not going to be pushing out at you with that two gate, because usually you'd be seeing zealots by now. Um, so if we're taking advantage of that opportunity once more, and we're pushing out, and we're seeing what we can do to him. We're kind of testing the waters. Um, really good opportunity at first here, and the fact that you know he's got this forge up and he's warping these photon cannons, but it's not up yet. Um, so we're going to do what we can to take out this gateway. Um, we're going to take it down as low as possible before this photon cannon warps in. Now, once it once it's in, obviously we want to pull back our units. Um, it's senseless to use your lose your zerglings for pretty much nothing. You're not going to be able to take this down in time, so you do want to pull them away. Um, now, as you saw, as I was over here earlier, we did warp in our uh, roach warren. I'm sorry, we built our war roach warren. We didn't warp it in. Zerg does not warp in buildings. That'd be odd. Um, and that speed upgrade is just about researched here. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pumping out roaches, um, trying to add to this aggression here. Um, these zerglings clearly aren't going to be enough because of that photon cannon. Uh, so we are want we are are wanting to add roaches into the mix. Um, I know I didn't mention that we dropped the roaches. Um, it just kind of a kind of foresight kind of missed that chance though uh, basically what it was is we went again with that 14 pool and that 13 extractor um, and uh, basically what we did is as soon as we had the minerals we went ahead and got the roach worn after bringing out a couple zerglings um, now that may seem kind of odd you may wonder well you didn't scout anything why would you go for roaches getting roaches is pretty standard first protoss like uh, roaches are just so strong versus gateway units um, once you get that speed upgrade too they do pretty well against stalker they're again more much more effective versus these zealots um, but I, with that speed upgrade they can do pretty good versus stalkers uh, so as you can see here we're pushing up even with these photon cannons there because of the damage we dealt earlier to that gateway um, we are going to be able to break through and then we're going to be taking down these photon cannons and um, I mean at this point that's pretty much it uh, for those of you wondering well was Protoss player terrible has he even been doing anything yeah he's been doing a lot actually he's been putting his tech up here and hiding his tech up here um, Essentially, he didn't 
expect to get that much pressure uh, from the Zerg player, and because of that, you know, we were able to bust through that wall, and it was too much for him. Um, breaking into his base here, moving right up to the mineral line, all he has are these two stalkers, still waiting on that warp gate cooldown, so he's not going to be able to warp in anything quite yet. Um, and that's game over. Uh, so it's again, this this video is primarily about taking advantage of the opportunity um, that your opponent is leaving you alone. Um, this is gonna, this is kind of a an idea or a theory that's gonna work for all of the races, not just Zerg. This particular match, I was showing you that speedling roach aggression, though. Um, but you know, if you're again, if your opponent's leaving you in your base, if they're letting you uh, letting you work to your own devices, take advantage of that. Push out against them. Put some pressure against them. And this is exactly what can happen uh, if they're not prepared for it. You're just gonna wipe them out right away. So yeah, guys. Again, this has been Force of Force Starcraft 2 strategy. If you like our videos and you like what we're doing here, please do subscribe to our channel. Keep watching and keep owning, guys.